Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Thursday, September 18th. What a crazy day today on Wall Street. Uh, yet again, on the brink of disaster, we had an opening rally that faded pretty fast. I mentioned the chat room. It was really, really weak. And there, you know, we went down 100 points. Uh, just looked terrible early on. But then we started to see some things turn around. Uh, Tech stocks got a little bit of strength. The VIX spiked over 41, which is typically a buy indicator for stocks. Then we had news that uh, the British UK market banned all short selling in financial stocks, and that helped. And then, you know, based on some of that stuff and how some of the banks were trading, I sent out a trading alert saying that we'd possibly seen a near term bottom in the market. And that was when we were still red on the day and who would have thought two hours later the dow would be up 400 points nasdaq up 100 just wow all one can say uh what fueled that big late day rally was news that the treasury department is working on creating something similar to the resolution trust corporation back in the 80s for the snl essentially it's a bad bank that they're creating and this bad bank takes all the bad loans and CDOs and all the crap that's killing uh, Wall Street right now puts it in one bank and then unloads it over the coming months and years into strength not into the weakness that we're seeing right now and the market loved that news huge bounce on stocks uh, we are up 400 today uh, asking for anything more tomorrow would be a stretch but uh, Huge rallies like this you usually see some follow through the next day. So we should at a minimum see at least 100 to 200 points more on the upside tomorrow, at least to 11, 1120 to 11,250. That's the eight day moving average and the 20 day exponential. Um, so we should see some up, you know, follow through tomorrow. It is options expiration. Uh, it all depends on what details come out tonight, if any, on this deal. But, you know, finally, some common sense coming out of, uh, you know, Washington right now with this. Of course, it was more politicians trying to trump each other because the Democrats were trying to put out something. McCain was trying to put out something. Bush is trying to put out something. And everyone just seems to be trying to be the first one, you know, so they can get the kudos for politics, not for saving things. SEC yesterday changed the short rule, the, the new rule, while at least a positive, it makes what's something that's illegal more illegal now, but there's no real teeth to the law. They should be fining these naked shorters and making them cover their positions, not the, you know, the current rule they have now. But another positive that also prompted my call this morning for a possible bottom was a lot of the large pension funds. Um, have agreed not to loan their shares to shorts, which should make it very difficult for shorts to get any new shares. So that is further fuel for the market, at least in the near term. SMH, I'm loving this setup here at the bottom on the SMH. Even if you do enter and it drops, it's got a magnet back to the 25 area. Ideal entry, you know, if we're looking for a scalp, near-term targets, I would be looking for a move to 2670, possibly tomorrow on a gap. And then 28 to 29 would be target over the next couple of weeks if the rally holds. The one thing you'll notice over the last two weeks, buying volume has been massive on the SMH. On up days have been way more than down day volume, even though the down days are taking it to new lows. Up day volume much much higher which is a bullish bottoming action on the smh and as i've been saying for some time this is the index that i use to determine where we're going to go on the market you know people use the four horsemen amazon google rim uh and uh, microsoft to judge where the tech stocks are going i believe the semiconductor sector and the smh in particular gives us a better idea of when market rallies are legit so we're going to be watching this one closely rsi is coming up at a 30 stochastics deeply oversold and ready to run on balance volume as i said looks good given the buying lately so 
SMH is going to be one we're going to be scalping a lot in the near term, especially if we have a bottom in place. With that in mind, LSCC, the company warned the other day it was like a 300K miss, which is saying a lot for semiconductor stocks when a lot of these companies have been warning huge. But even so, it's been holding a pretty tight range, which is in, it, in itself is bullish. Anything under 235, I would be looking to pick up a scalp position. If this one is able to break 250, it'll be off to the races. But for now, any scalps in the 230 to 235 area, target would be a move to 245 to 249 as your scalp on this one. RSI is still under 50. Uh, stochastics did hold 50, which is good. So this is our semiconductor play that we're looking at near term. BKHM, Bookham Technologies, just been decimated over the last couple of weeks. Uh, very few stocks were red today, and I think I mentioned it in the chat room today. Stocks that were red today on a market follow-through tomorrow should see some nice upside movement tomorrow. So BKHM got a fun puke today. Usually those clowns sell at the bottom. Would be looking for a move back to the eight-day moving average on this one. That is currently at a dollar 38 rsi is oversold stochastics oversold and we had a fun puke out at shares today which usually happens at the bottom so this is our snapback play for tomorrow today we actually had a couple in the chat room blockbuster bbi we were playing that at a buck 90 we sold it too soon ended up going to 250 at the close that's a 30 percent gainer immu we had a scalp ad this morning at a buck forty-eight. Went to a buck ninety-two. That's another thirty percent winner. So, thinking uh, BBI or BKHM maybe our next thirty percent winner tomorrow. CROX another play that uh, ended red on the day. Huge short interest. This is a short entrance play. Target on this one is four twenty-two to four thirty-eight tomorrow. 30% shorts on this one, 80% fund ownership, 30% of uh, 6% insider ownership. That's up adds up to 129% of the float out. Uh, hello shorts, you have 20% of the float to cover on this one. RSI getting oversold, stochastics oversold, and this is the kind of stock that can run from 370 to five dollars in an hour. On very little volume so keep an eye on this one definitely tomorrow IVAN was in the uh, possible market bounce alert I sent out today oil had a little bounce today a lot of the reason oil sold off off the, uh, the last couple of days was uh, funds were selling everything to get some safety and you know they started moving back into gold and they've started moving back into oil and this oil play is down pretty dramatically over the last few days we should see this one move at least to a buck 40 tomorrow target would be a buck 40 to a buck 75 near term rsi deeply oversold same with stochastics so this is our small oil play for the near term that's really it for tonight only because we're up 400 points and I want to see what happens tomorrow before we start sending out any more uh, trading alerts but things look pretty good panic was was really bad today we had another money market fund go belly up or close its doors which is pretty rare uh, Tuesday evening you had the overnight rate was eight percent or ten percent actually that's when the fed funds rate is two percent that's how scared banks were to lend this new thing that the treasury is doing should do much to help save the banks there is a riot against short selling right now especially naked short selling the funny thing is that the ones who are screaming the most about it goldman sachs morgan stanley merrill lynch have been the ones who have created this naked short crisis that we're in they're the biggest culprits of doing this to stocks over the last few years it's great to see them get a taste of their own medicine but uh, we do need it to stop at least in the near term i'm not saying shorting is bad shorting is good it's the naked shorting that's bad and that's what they need to get rid of and it looks like that's what they're finally you know starting to wake up to do 
Naked shorting, for those that aren't familiar, a really quick lesson, uh, when you short a stock, you have to borrow the shares. Naked shorting is they just short the stock and don't care that they have the shares to cover it. They just short, 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 short. And when you have a situation like that, there's no need to ever cover. You're just creating shares out of thin air. So, you know, what a week. Um, if we see continued follow through tomorrow and we don't see any more negative news this weekend, we should be in for a nice couple of weeks uh, going into October at least. As I mentioned, large market tanks usually are followed by very, very nice trading markets for at least two to three weeks. So, you know, fingers crossed that we have some follow through tomorrow. And that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in the chat room. Good night.